<laughs> hey, what it do, man? You already know what it is. It's your boy, John Adon. To my right, we got that boy that always can and never can't. My boy, Ant. <laughs> yeah. To the left of me, we got that boy in the black TRC3. And you already know what it is. It's that all-in-one podcast. Yes, sir. So, my boy, Ant. Go on, tell him what it is and go on, tell him how you think the podcast should be and what's your goal in the future for the podcast. Oh, man. Well, you know, all in one, it's kind of self-explanatory, man. We got everything you need all in one. We got hot topics, sports, music, relationship advice, whatever you need, man, all in one. We got it all, man. We're going to be producing a lot of great content. We're going to try to at least, you know what I'm saying, post at least twice a month. That's the bare minimum, you know what I'm saying? But we're going to try to get three to four times a month, you know what I'm saying? We're going to... Try to push out as much as we can, depending on how everybody's schedule works. Right, but, right. you know, we got a lot of great things coming in store, man. I'm glad that we finally got it kicked off with my brothers. Already. You know, we finna finna get it jumping, man. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's, been, it's been a long time coming, man. You know, we've been in the talks <laughs> for a while, man. Like you said, man, I'm glad we finally getting it jumping, dog. Yeah, yeah. That we finally get it jumping. Yeah, yeah, man. So what you what's on your mind, Trey? What's I ain't gonna mind? lie, man. I got some stuff I gotta get y'all opinion on real quick, man. Okay. Stuff I've been reading and I'm sure everybody knows about it. So apparently Jalen Green, member of the Houston Rockets, been balling lately too. Mm-hmm. Got an announcement come out. Drea Michelle is pregnant by him. Now, let's analyze this real quick. So Dre is 39. Jalen younger than us. He 22. Yeah. <clears throat> that's the that's the disconnect for me, man. That part and just the the timing of everything, bro, because he don't need no distractions right now, bro. He hooping. You know what I'm saying? He yeah. hooping. Rock is trying to make that last push to get in the playoffs. Mm. That's a lot of distractions coming with that. Not distractions, but, like, you know how the internet is, bro. Yeah. Some get announced and people just start throwing stuff everywhere at them. So, like, I just I just wonder what the what was Jalen Brown thinking? Not Jalen Brown, Jalen Green. What was he thinking? I mean, well, first and foremost, you know what I'm saying? It is dread my shit. <clears throat> let's let's <throat> go put that out there. Bad money. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's very beautiful woman. So I think as a as a as a young person, mm-hmm. it's kind of good, like in his sense to have an older woman. Please elaborate, man. Especially as a woman like Dre and Michelle. You know, as, you know, as a young man, you always wanted the the older woman. You right. wanted the the teacher or right. you know, you want somebody older than you. Understood. So as a young nigga, he probably felt like, oh man, he winning. Mm-hmm. But from her side, mm-hmm. I think that's bad. Mm-hmm. But at the same time, it just depends on how you look at it because you got people like the uh, Brittany. Renner yeah. and PJ Washington situation. Mm-hmm. You got even Jay Z, Beyonce. They mm-hmm. got a significant age difference too. People yeah. never really talk about that. Yeah, but I don't know, man. I definitely don't think like that was a good thing. Mm-hmm. Just because I do feel like she was money hungry, not money hungry, mm-hmm. but she know what she was doing. Yeah, with, with that young brother. Yeah, what you yeah. feel about it? Yeah, Jay? I, I ain't about? with it. I'm going to let y'all know that. Because <laughs> yeah, that's not somebody I can bring home to mom. Nah, you can't. You know nah. what I'm saying? Nah. Like, I'm 21. I'm balling. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? She's 38. So she was 38, right? 39, actually. She's 39. So she up the age. Yeah. It's down there. My, she five years, six years younger than my mama. <laughs> okay. So, like, bruh, I'm young. Mm. I need to be focused on what I got going on, mm-hmm. what my goal is. Mm-hmm. Plus, let's be honest. The girl already been on basketball wise. So I don't know how many times. Right. You know what I'm yeah. saying? So right. she already got that exposure. Right. You know, so I'm kind of with you on it because it's kind of like, you know, she money hungry at right. the end of the day mm-hmm. because it's like, damn, you couldn't go so much, you know, for somebody that's your right. age. You know, right. You got to go after the young buck. Exactly. You know, and not just the young buck, you know, the rising star. Rising star. Like, yeah. This is like the number one per like, one of the top ten, you know, <laughs> yeah, young feel, persons yeah, that's in sure. the game right now. You know for what I'm sure, saying? So, yeah, sure. bro, it's like money hungry because, like, and this for all y'all old women. Leave <laughs> the young people alone. Go find somebody that's your age. Young people, you go find somebody that's your age. Because at the end of the day, you need somebody to grow with. You know, you don't mm-hmm. need nobody that's already got they self-established or, 
know what you want in life. You know, mm-hmm. life and the is killer all about part, bro. Huh? She got a son that's his age, bro. I swear, bro. I swear, <laughs> I was waiting. That is crazy. Bro, I was waiting for y'all to get y'all shit out <laughs> because that's something I want to tap into. His her son is the same age as Jalen Green. That's bro, crazy. She got a kid already that's the same age, bro. And you got another kid on the way with this woman. Yeah. You feel like, me? It don't it don't make sense to me, bro? And I just need Jalen Green to understand, bro. She didn't find you by accident, bro. Yeah. At all. This ain't by accident. No. Mind you, like y'all said, she been on basketball wise before. Man, she just basically signed an 18 year contract with a team. Yeah, so she's scouting. <laughs> she been scouting. Yeah. Bro, I, I seen a video the other day. She was doing like a one on one interview. Was talking, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, when mm-hmm. she was like, um, if you have a kid with somebody, do you see a future with them? And mm-hmm. she was like, nah, we could just have a kid and go our separate ways. Mm-hmm. Like, come on, dog. Like, we're not stupid. It's like, no. do you see a relationship no. with the person that you with now? She literally said, Oh, we're talking about we're talking about the kid. Your, your question was about a child. I was mm-hmm. like, oh yeah, that's that's how you know that's bullshit. Exactly. She literally just trying to get a check out. But exactly, that's what they be doing, man. Yeah. I'm, now I understand, bro. I understand for the I youngest, I understand. Are. Like them old women, them older women, they mouthpieces is cold, bro. They'll say some cold shit to you, man. Yeah. <laughs> you like, damn, yeah. you know. Yeah. But yeah. I don't want this to be like we just bashing her because he got to take some accountability in this shit too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He yeah. should have known, like, where is his, where is his OGs at to put him on game? Like, you know, you gotta protect yourself from this type of situation. Somebody should have been in his ear from the time he was in high school because we already knew he was finna go to the league. Yeah. The way he's playing in high school. Yeah, you should have somebody in his ear like, yo, you gotta watch for this, watch for that. I'm not just calling her a predator, but I mean, shit. If this was the other way around and it was a 30, 39 year old man talking to a twenty two year old woman. Yeah, they be killing them. Yeah, Come on, dog. Them, you feel what I'm saying? So they both got to take accountability. I don't want to just seem like we just bashing Drea yeah, because nah. he got to take accountability too. Yeah. This whole situation is just terrible to me, though. Yeah. I ain't gonna say it's terrible, but it's just not, it's not a good situation. Yeah, nah. it's not. I don't see it going good for Jalen specifically because you a young. Rising finna star. get a big contract. Finna get a big contract, bro. <laughs> Max, bro. You feel me? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, you, like I said, she didn't find you by accident. You know what I mean? Get by two There's feet. plenty of regular niggas out here, bro. She didn't find you by accident. You no, know, she don't want no regular nigga. Though. And then on her end, like it's like you knocking on, you knocking on forty, and you finding this young bull. It's like I don't, I don't, I don't know, man. It's In twenty just, years, she gonna be sixty, and he gonna be forty. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, bro. It's just not a good situation, man. I don't see it. I don't see it ending well for, because I don't know if Jalen trying to be in a relationship with her. Nah, she's doing that thing on. Him. You feel what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah, bro. yeah up, man. Bro. I just like, I just, uh, I don't like it for young boy, man, because like I said, man, I be seeing a lot of these NBA players when they have kids, them child support payments be crazy, bro. Like I seen Blake Griffin was damn near paying 20000 a month. Yeah, they, they try to That's kill, ridiculous, bro. bro. He wasn't even getting the bag like that, right? Like, because that was towards like the end of his career. You so he was I'm, like, yeah. You know, them uh, twenty thousand a month. That's why I respect. Shit. I respect yeah. Deion Sanders, bro, because he had Brittany Renner come into his locker room to talk to players about stuff like that. I mean, mm-hmm. you know, she did what she did, but she's still a real woman for uh, still going to that locker room and telling them, you know, girls like me mm-hmm. are looking for y'all. Right? They literally trying to see who's the biggest, who got the biggest contract. I think Aaron Gordon was on the podcast. He was talking to somebody. He was like. Yeah, I had went to dinner with this girl, ooh, 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 and he, I guess, sent her phone. The last thing she looked up was his network. <laughs> so you that's know, so crazy. So they be plotting. You know they coming that's for you. Crazy they be plotting, shit, man. God damn. But that's, that's crazy. That's, that's a sad sight to see, man. That's a, <laughs> or I just, you know, wish the best for. Yeah, her brother. that's all we can do is wish the best, it's, man. Because one of her playing good. Yeah, she, yeah, she played that card very well. Yeah, she played that card very she well. Play court. Yeah, for sure. It gotta be something in the water. You yeah, heard me, sure. but you know what I'm saying. I mean, I feel like you know what I'm saying. Me as a as a young young brother, uh, Jerry Michelle is a very beautiful woman. I know, yeah, so she's fine. No it, you, you get the opportunity, <laughs> he, he, gonna, yeah. he gonna take that chance. Yeah, I mean, now, as far as fine. going all the way, as yeah. you know, as far as having a baby, uh, that's a little too much. It's a but little shaky. You shaky. get you get that shaky. you get that alley. A donk yeah, this donk, yeah. I mean, <laughs> and then also you gotta understand, bro. Like, we think differently than him. 
because mm-hmm. we honestly, even though it's not like a big difference between our ages and his, mm-hmm. he's still 22. Mm-hmm. I know what was on my mind at 22. So, Shit, too. you know what I'm saying? He's still in that, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He's still in that phase. So, like, he probably not mature enough to analyze the situation beforehand. He just like, oh, she throwing it. I'm at that. I'm gone. You know what I'm saying? And he probably didn't have to crush your husband. He was a young bull for exactly. real. Exactly. I never understood why NBA players don't go after lawyers. And, you know, like, women that got, like, you know, <laughs> shit going on. You know, why you got to go get, like, a Kardashian you know, or something? I seen something. I was watching the uh, Shannon Sharp podcast. I, think, well, I was listening to it when I was at work. And he had Sweetie on there. And he was talking to her. As far as like, I think who she was dating at the time or whatever, whatever. And he was like asking her just about her life, and like she was a big sports fan type, you know, type girl. So he asked, he's like, you know, why you never dated, you know, a sports person? Cause you like sports as much as you do. And her answer made me kind of realize why people in that industry date who they date. Mm-hmm. Cause she was like, I mean, you know, I'm a rapper, so all I'm around is rappers and people in that industry. So that's who you go gravitate mm-hmm. towards, cause that's who you see the most. So yeah. as a basketball player, I mean, you ain't seen no lawyer and stuff like that on a I daily see basis. Instagram models and all yeah, that. Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm saying. So that. that's who you gonna be attracted to because that's what you're around the most. At least that's what I feel. That's who be courtside. Yeah, <laughs> you know what I'm saying. The first two rows is full <laughs> of them, man. You know what I'm saying? They just be courtside. So the Instagram models. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I hear plotting and scheming. Yeah, yeah, definitely man. plotting and scheming. Jose. Yeah, I just hope I hope the best for him, man. I hope it don't put him in no bind where he. On some Blake Griffin stuff, paying twenty thousand a month or nothing like that, because yeah. basketball don't last forever. Nah, you know nah. what I mean. So nah. that them contracts you getting, you got to stack that. You know what I mean. Yeah. You have to. So I hope it. I hope it works out well for him, man. Even though I, I don't. I don't like the situation at all, but I just hope it works out for him. Cause I like Jalen Green, man. He cold. Yeah. I'll be jumping out the gym. Oh, in like the last few months, he been balling for real. that baby yeah. on the way. That's what it is. You got a mouth to feed. Gotta get that chick. Gotta get that chick. You got a mouth to feed. Hold up. Hold up. Nah, uh, Hold up. So what y'all been thinking about the NFL free agency, man? Like how y'all looking? First of all, let's put this on air. Let's get everybody's teams. Who is everybody's team? Just go and get this out because we got footage now. Y'all already know. If you don't know, Ant, my favorite team is the Eagles. It's going to be that forever. If you know me, you know my favorite team is the Eagles. 49ers, man. I'm rocking with the Texans all the way. You know how we do it. I like te- I like the Texans, you know what I'm saying? That's my second team just because being from Texas, you got to root for them. I hate the Cowboys. Anybody like the Cowboys? Yeah, I y'all don't trash. Like the Cowboys either. Cowboys. But how y'all feeling about free agency, man? What y'all think about as far as y'all teams picks or just the league in general? I think we did the best out okay. of all the teams. You know what I'm saying? Um, because don't get me wrong, we wanted Saquon. Yeah, we got Saquon. him. We got him. Like, Damn, bro, we didn't get Saquon. <laughs> mm. but we got Joe Mixon though. I'm not mad about that. Very solid. Because when I was looking up Joe Mixon, bro, in the league for seven years, he only got three fumbles. So that's, that's crazy. That's consistent. That's a crazy that's stat. That's a crazy that's stat. Consistent, bro. Yeah. And then we got the other boy from the Vikings, Hunter. The dead Hunter. Yeah, that's bro. a good pick. Mm-hmm. I ain't gonna lie. Four hundred plus total tackles. Three hundred and sixty one solo tackles. Mm-hmm. I ain't mad at that either. Him and Will Anderson be dangerous. Bro, that's together. gonna be crazy. A, I ain't gonna lie. Y'all definitely did good. Yeah, so but, I, think, you know, I think we did good. I think my Eagles. I, to see us going I to think the we did the best. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Cause I, I ain't gonna lie, I thought Saquon was gonna go to the Texas too. When I was I was just doing something at the house and he, you text me, you was like that re option gonna be crazy. I was like, what? I look as soon as I get on to it, that's all I see. I was like, oh my goodness, yeah. we got Saquon. <laughs> yeah, that was a great pickup. We got CJ Gardner Johnson back. You don't know what he meant to our defense on our Super Bowl run. I don't. Well, I'm gonna let, I'm gonna let you know he was the enforcer. <laughs> <laughs> he led the team in picks. I think he was like top five in the league in picks too. You know what I'm saying? We got Devin White. We got another linebacker that's gonna. Bring that helmet, sideline to sideline. We got Bryce Huff. We got another edge rusher that's going to come after you. I don't know what we're going to do about Hassan Reddick and Josh Sweat and all that, but we still got some premier pass rushers. We still got Jalen Carter from Georgia, Big Jordan Davis from Georgia. You know what I'm saying? We still got N'Kobe Dean that's coming back from Georgia. We got a whole lot of Bulldogs on our team. You know what I'm saying? We we going to be straight. It's up to Jalen not to perform, Mm -hmm. and we still got to do something with them corners because – Bradbury, 
You just need to go. You you got to go and retire, brother. He like, cooked, bro. bro, that bro is, he's cooked, sorry, bro. bro. Sorry. <laughs> he is bro, so he trash. I'd be like, bro, yeah. why are you the best quarter on the field, yeah, but they targeting you the most? CB1. Getting cooked. I'd be like, bro. Shit, stir fry. <laughs> so, I mean, I think we did good, too, but the Texans, definitely. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, we definitely they, going to the Super Bowl next year. Okay, we no. the first two years. Yeah, no, uh, oh, okay, y'all, you lost your mind. Right there. Uh, you still got that. You still got to deal with Patty. You, you still got Pat over there. Not worry about that. I don't All know right. why you not. Patrick right. Mahomes is the greatest quarterback right. of this era for don't sure. Don't got no wide receivers. Right. He didn't have nothing mm-hmm. this Joe year. Burrow do. Yeah. Who? Joe Burrow do. I'm not worried about him either. Right. They finna lose T Higgins, mm-hmm. but yeah, that's gonna hurt. What you mean, Pat ain't got no receivers? He didn't have none this year. But like he, what still, happened? He still had Jason Kelsey. I mean, uh, Travis Kelsey. You know, he still had Travis Kelsey, and they just signed Hollywood Brown. That's a deep threat, and that's who I'm supposed to be scared of is Hollywood Brown. Hell. He ain't got to be scared. I'm not worried about so him. So you weren't scared of Mada, uh Vada Scanley and uh 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 no Nicole Davis, Harman. Nicole no. Harmon. No, but yet they still won the Super Bowl. I wasn't. They still won the Super Bowl. And the only reason why I say this is because we had a young quarterback, and you know, with that big stage, I feel like he kind of like was like okay. You know, he kind of folded a little bit, you know, when he played against Baltimore. But the Browns, bro, you cannot tell me that y'all thought, like, okay, he might be leading this team to a Super Bowl. I mean. No, not leading to a Super Bowl. I definitely thought they was going to – I didn't think they was going to do what they did to the Browns like that. Like, that was kind of crazy. I ain't going to hold you. We but you still got Pat. You still got Joe Burrow, Josh Allen, yeah. Lamar Jackson. Yeah. Josh he, Allen? Josh Allen, Josh you heard Allen, what I said. Believe it or not, bro, that nigga, he be tripping in the playoffs, but he's still good, though. Bro, bro going to throw five picks before he throw a touchdown. I'm not worried about no Josh Allen. He going to run a nigga yeah. over to get that into uh, yeah, <laughs> He yeah. going to run a nigga yeah. over. Yeah, and he going to fumble them over, too. Nah, I'm I think no he need Allen. a number one for real. Stephon Diggs, he be crying so much. He, yeah, he talk about it. Out he need the ball, but when he get the ball, he drop it. Yeah. So he need to receive a one. Yeah. If he can get the ball. That's man, no. Josh Allen give him the ball. I don't think he so. don't. Man, go look at his targets in the last playoff game they had. Not don't. They had like so, nine targets for two catches. I'm not, I don't know. Twelve yards. I don't think so, bro. But you receiver one. Make some happen. What? <laughs> Get open. <laughs> like, well, come to the Texans. Let's, let's see what's popping. No, hey, if you're watching this, come Stephon. Come friend, dog. Hmm. Come to the Texans. Y'all ain't got no one. money. Now, yeah. Yeah. Hey, look. I was finna get into that. So, like, looking from the outside in. I knew we probably weren't gonna make no moves for real because we just paid a lot of niggas. Mm. Just paid a lot of niggas. Like yeah. last year, we paid Debo. We I had to pay Christian. Uh, we paid got Nick. To. You gotta pay Christian. Dog. <laughs> you have to. You know what I mean? So I knew we probably weren't gonna make no moves. I hate we lost that D tackle that we lost, but we did pick up another one. I forgot his name, but um, he was a solid pick. And um, you know, as long as we don't lose nobody, no no big factor. Like I was scared we was gonna lose Brandon Ayuk. I, I don't scared. think he signed the contract yet. He, did he? didn't, but I feel like he's gonna resign, bro. I feel like he is. I hope so. I, f- I hope so too. Because <laughs> if we lose him, that's gonna hurt. Debo is wide receiver one. Is not it? It's not, bro. It's not. He's a good like. What's the word? Scat back. Hybrid. At yeah, hybrid. Yeah, yeah. Scat back type person. Mm-hmm. I hit the mic. Word, word, word. So I knew we weren't gonna make no moves, but looking at y'all squads though, definitely y'all y'all. Out of out of the whole NFL, y'all two teams made the best moves. I feel. Yeah, niggas in trouble. Y'all added pieces to an already dangerous squad. I'm scared about Devontae Smith too. That's really the one thing I'm concerned about. Mm-hmm. I hope we able to like, be. extend him because my opinion, Devontae Smith better than AJ Brown. You've been saying that for the longest, bro. He yeah. can run the I route tree, you. bro. He can catch. I love mm-hmm. receivers that can run the whole route tree. I agree AJ with Brown you. is from what I've seen. It was crazy. He still be having good years. Nigga just run slants and That's it. goddamn physical, receiver so. screen. Yeah, yeah. just physical. Big yeah. body. Yeah, but yeah, I, he I good, though. I ain't going to, you know what I'm saying, take nothing away from him, but I think Devontae is better. I agree with you, bro. I agree with you. You've been saying that for a while, too. Man, I love you know, Devontae Smith. I really, I believe you when you say, um, I agree with you when you said, like, this year, y'all success is up to Jalen. Yeah. Now it's time for him to have, like, if he have another season, like, not this past year, but the one before that, y'all going to be all right. Yeah. Y'all going to be all right. Now, if CJ... Get better, mm-hmm. y'all gonna be dangerous, bro. Oh yeah, nah, he y'all, definitely gonna y'all just got some, y'all got some hitters that y'all got to get past though. Yeah, the Ravens. That's the only that's thing. It. That's the only one I see. It's the Ravens. That's the only one you see. I'm tight. All right. You got keep, keep thinking shit sweet with Kansas say, City. I don't know why people thinking Buffalo. that, bro. I'm not worried, about bro. Him. Patrick Mahomes has been in the league seven years. He's been in the AFC Championship six years. He's been in the Super Bowl five, four times, bro. He's won three of them things. 
How are you not even thinking of him? <laughs> like, I'm going to keep it a buck with you, man. I didn't think they was going to win the Super Bowl when they played against the 49ers. I don't know how that happened. That's that's some nah, crazy stuff. What you think, bro? That's your team <laughs> nah, right there. Like, for real. They beat me the year before. I didn't think that was going to happen. I thought the 49ers was going to run them over. But somehow, we made it into this big, and that's why I believe in conspiracies. Because mm-hmm. money comes in the fact. Mm-hmm. Yep, now you talking. Now real. you talking. See, now, see. No, bro. Nah, I'm nah, going to keep it a bean. I'm going to keep it a bean. I'm going to keep it a bean. Like, I literally watched the 49 I'm not saying I watched them every game, but this playoff run, I saw a glaring hole in their defense. They could not stop the run. Mm-hmm. You finna, you're not going to sit here and tell me they can stop the run. They damn near lost to the Packers. They damn near lost to the Lions. I'm not saying either one of them teams is trash, but they damn near lost both of those games. So coming to play in Kansas City, the best quarterback in the league, you can't be on that bullshit. They fucked up by not taking the ball first in overtime. That was the fucking fr- – I don't know what Kyle Shanahan was doing, not taking the ball, but – you can't, you can't try to hold Pat Mahomes to down seven at halftime and think you're good. Nah. You got your foot on the gas, you got to keep it on there when you're dealing with Patrick Mahomes. You got to because you know what he's going to do. If the game is within 30 points, okay. he could go get it. Yeah, okay. I guess within 30, you can I, go get that. I still believe it was a conspiracy, though. I, I, bro, I'm with you though. I, I I'm with you. I don't care. Trust me, I'm with you. What bro. you gonna say? What you gonna say? Taylor Swift. Of Taylor course. Swift. You know how much money she brought to the NFL. Oh, look this at year? the numbers, man. He I'm generated not... so much revenue for the league. There's no way they letting them niggas lose, bro. They not. Like, There's no way. Crazy. Bro. Now look, I, it was a competitive game. I'm proud of my squad. No matter what, I'm proud because we did play hard. We lost a vital piece in the first drive. Some mm-hmm. crazy shit with Dre Greenlaw, but we still fought. It was a few things that I wish we would have done differently, but I think we did more. I think we did enough to win the game. Mm-hmm. But the missing piece is what you said, right? That revenue stream. Yeah, You're not bro. losing that because no. they don't know what Travis and Taylor gonna be together next year anyway. You know how them celebrity relationships go. Exactly. Well, okay. They don't. They got to cash in when they can, okay. bro. So my question is, what was the conspiracy theory the year before that? Because they played my Eagles. They post a lost that game. If Jalen Hurts didn't have that fumble that got Pat them to go down there and score, you know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna say it wasn't any, but I don't know if it was. You know, just greatness. <laughs> yeah, that's just greatness <laughs> at that point. They couldn't stop they couldn't get Patrick Mahomes off the field on third down. He got two crucial runs mm-hmm. by 15, 20 yards. Mm-hmm. That I mean, that's just they ain't got nothing to do with no. But you gonna go with Taylor Swift. That's the most favorite though. That's how I feel about that when they played against the Eagles because it was the Kelsey Bowl. So you're going to go with the person that America likes the most. That's how I feel. And Jason. Jesus. Jason is a staple. <laughs> he's going to like Jason yeah. more than Travis. <laughs> bro, like Jason, he's bro. like, that's probably do with yeah, yeah. Like, in the nah, generals. They, I don't know, though. J- hey, Jason is probably the most famous sitter <laughs> of all time. Nah, he, he probably no. is, though. He probably but nah, is. probably not Travis Kelsey, though. Right. No, okay, I'm, talking about, I'm just biased because that's my setup. Yeah, the yeah. white boy with the fade that be jigging. You know what I'm <laughs> That's the person we gonna go with. Yeah, man. I hope Jason have a good retirement, man. I'm hope gonna miss him. Hall of Famer for sure. I'm gonna miss yeah. him, man. It's That's crazy because he was a walk on in college. Yes, it was. It's crazy, but yeah, man. I definitely think that Taylor Swift had a lot to do with the Super Bowl this year. You notice how many times Cameron went on her? Bro, because they know them little six. She was making me mad, watching. bro. She was really making me mad. Like, why are you showing her more than the players doing exactly. the work? Exactly, because you know sixteen year old girls watching. Yeah, I mean, they really. know they go, I mean, at the end of the day, NFL buy money. You know what I'm saying? They gonna do it, all of this know, shit by money, make some money. Mm-hmm. But you know, Pat is just that nigga. Yeah, bro. Pat, Pat, Pat is, is man. I can't, nothing from him. I can't take nothing Pat from him. I can't take nothing from him. Pat from Texas. Shout out to Texas. For sure. Cold, but Pat that nigga, man. I mean. For sure. Somebody gonna put him on his ass one day. And I think <laughs> I don't see that boy with them, them long hair from Texas. Man. I, don't I would rather it be Houston, home. man, but it Houston might fuck around and be Lamar. No. I would rather it be Houston. I would rather it be Houston. I think it's gonna be Lamar. How y'all feel about them? Uh, Lamar, I'm tell y'all the ass up. <laughs> how, y'all feel, how y'all feel about the yeah, They got Derrick Henry now, bro. And Lamar and them, they lost they, OBJ, they but they got Derrick Henry, they bro. They could have beat the Chiefs. I was telling him, I think you earlier, Mm -hmm. or you, I don't know. But the problem with the Ravens was, to me, Lamar tried to be Patrick Mahomes. He tried to be Josh Allen instead of, like, throwing the ball. 
I mean, I mm-hmm. thought about running the ball. Yeah. If he would have stuck to his game plan, I think they would have won that thing. He trying to throw the ball in triple coverage. Yeah, and yeah shit. that last pick he threw, that was that was like pivotal. Yeah, that's like what I do on Madden if I'm yeah. mad. That's how I do it anyway. <laughs> See, I be trying to throw that pitch long, but like, yeah, bro, he, he shouldn't have made that pass, man. What did you mean to say there? What was I finna say? I don't know. <laughs> I'm about to say, I don't think it's going to work. Huh? I don't think it's going to work. Who? With the Derrick Henry and Lamar Jackson thing. But you think Jalen Hurts and Saquon going to work? You got damn right it is. <laughs> I don't think that either. You don't think that either? So why, so why you think it was going to work with the Texans? We have a better chance of working than y'all do. Because we're more versatile. <laughs> no, the fuck y'all not? As an organization, we are. No, y'all not. As an organization. Yes, hey, no, like, y'all, y'all got a solid right. wide out yeah, with Nico yeah, Collins. Yeah, y'all That's team it. just look good on paper. How are we not oh, versatile? Nah, we, we went can, to the bowl. We can run. <laughs> we went to the bowl last year. Y'all just look good on paper. Bro. How y'all? But explain to me how y'all more versatile. Because. We can run, pass. CJ Stroud not running like that. Okay, you don't have to. But, he's a, but that's what verse time means. It's okay. So you you don't think CJ Stroud is a better passer than? Ooh, that's man. not what the question oh, was. Jaylen the question was guy. what makes y'all more versatile. If he wanted to run, he can run, bro. He ain't running like Jalen. Jalen Hurts is more of a threat running than he is a liability passer. The only thing y'all CJ. have is a touch that that touch push shit. It's the only thing y'all really have. And they just lost their center too, so that hurt. Yeah. So yeah. That's, but that's they got Saquon. You said that. You saying that like we are garbage without just that. Yeah, kind of, sort of, bro. Because what else do y'all have? Bro. Defense is good. Don't get me wrong. Defense was the weak link. <laughs> no, I'm talking about, like, now defense is good. What makes y'all more versatile? That's what I'm still trying we to figure out. We got better receivers than y'all, bro. <laughs> no. Y'all ain't got nobody better than Devontae Smith. Or AJ. Or Dallas Garner. Nico Collins. Nico I, I, Collins like, I like Nico. I like him, You bro. at your rabbit-ass mind. I'm if you not, think Nico very, Collins I'm not is just better saying this than any one of them team, three receivers. Not, y'all tripping, bro. Tripping, I respect it for riding for your squad, but you bugging. You no, losing, not. you Mm-mm. losing your mind. Shit, bugging. nah. You losing your mind, bro. Bugging. Crazy. For <laughs> real. <laughs> Nigga say Nico Collins is better than AJ Brown, Devontae Smith. He ain't better than Dallas Goddard. Better receiver core than us. <laughs> you if you don't have a better receiver core than them, you ain't got better one than us. Don't say that, man. Because I'm better than y'all. Y'all team is a know, whole, bro. bro. I don't know, man. All right, let's go. Let's go player for player. Let's I go. Think I'm taking IU over AJ Brown. No, I was talking about Devontae Smith. <laughs> <laughs> All right, okay. All right, if you go take uh, Al Uke over AJ. Devontae and Debo, what's up? Receiver? I'm taking, hey, I'm riding with my dog, man. I'll go with Debo on that one, too. Over the and, we got, and we got yeah. the. Because you could put Debo in more well, packages. I'm, I'm going to land. We got the best tight end in the league, too. He, he, nah, he ain't better than Kelsey. He ain't better than Kelsey. You said as a complete, tight end what? yeah, as a lead. complete tight end, mm-hmm. he probably is like blocking. And best shit. blocking tight end. He ain't yeah, better than look, Kelsey man, receiver. Nah. You put Kittle with uh, nah. Mahomes. Okay, where the fuck was he at? The Super Bowl? Be stiff as Rock he ain't like, throwing the ball. He man. had like two catches. <laughs> Rock ain't throwing the ball. Yeah, man. two catches. Be stiff. How many catches did Debo have? Them your yeah, best players. That's what I'm saying, Brock. I ain't gonna even blame it on Brock. Nah, blame it on Brock. I ain't gonna blame it on Brock. I'm blaming on fucking Shanahan, dog. Is Brock is Brock better than Jalen? No, hell no. Okay, so nah, see, I ain't saying see, that. See, mm-hmm. shit kind of offsets now. I mean, C Mac. I feel what you're saying. C Mac is better than Saquon, but it's not that much of a difference. Yes, it is, bro. No, it ain't, bro. It ain't that big of a difference, but you can't just say they on the same tier, it bro. You gotta look, bro. Difference. You gotta see. Y'all gotta bro, look. This at nigga it from, bugging, yeah, man. It is a big, okay, yeah, now nah, you bugging. So you gotta look at it from when C Mac was on the Panthers. That's not. He wasn't on the 49ers forever. Now oh, he on the he 49ers was on, right now. Dog. But let's look. But I'm saying I'm gonna listen to you. Let's go. He was on the Panthers. That mm-hmm. was a bad team, wasn't it? Yeah, Terrible. but he was still oh, putting. Oh, no, the no, 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 no. Let me let me tell what I'm gonna say. He was on a bad team, wasn't he? Yeah, come on. Now he's on a good team in a great situation that exploits his strongest assets. He doesn't have to do much. Hey, when niggas, man. Okay, am I lying? Okay, hold up. So was KD not good when he went to Golden State? We're not talking about that. That's the same type of situation, though. Okay, but it made him a lot more comfortable going to Golden State. He didn't have to work himself hard. Absolutely. He didn't have to overwork himself. I agree with you. Okay, so why? why he was still, a, he Saquon, was still KD, you haven't, you haven't seen Saquon at his full potential. He's been on the Giants, bro. The we Giants, Panthers, see. same thing. Bad we teams. We don't see. Having to overwork himself. They both see. was injured their whole career because they had to overwork themselves. Mm-hmm. C-Mac can have no injuries because he don't have to work as hard. He got... George Kittle, like you said, Brandon you like you said, mm-hmm. Debo Sanders, like you said, mm-hmm. a great ass defense. Mm-hmm. He don't gotta work that hard. He just go out there and just, you know, play freely. Nah, man. So see, now put Saquon on a very good team in a very good situation 
Watch how he play. We're going to see, man. We're going to see. I can't yeah, wait till the season over. If, yeah. that shit, you, hey, but, if that shit don't play out how you think, boy, I'm on your ass. And you can build my ass, but it ain't going to play like that. But you need what? to stop talking about these texts. I'm like, We're y'all winning to- more than 10 games next year. Y'all tripping. But your original statement was y'all going to the Super Bowl. We is. I can see y'all winning. In the team. next two years, I believe. Yeah, definitely going to the Super Bowl. That's crazy. <laughs> I don't know, bro. And, uh, don't unless know. Patrick Mahomes just like disappear. Yeah. Pat and Lamar. You, I don't know why you acting like. These guys is not them. Cause, bro. What? They not what? They don't produce. I mean, not besides Patrick Mahomes. <laughs> I Patrick love Mahomes C- hey, bro. I, I Lamar like Jackson is a two-time man, MVP. But you bugging. What they got to do with producing in the playoffs, my boy? But you ain't like y'all just produce. Y'all got y'all ass what by that person that don't produce. Okay, yeah, because we just now got established. Like, don't get me wrong. We was ass the last couple of years. More experience, basically. Yeah, more experience, yeah. But we just now got established. I mean, once you get your foot wet, hell, you might as well go get the whole body wet. <laughs> I'm just being honest, keep it a buck. They try to be like Jayla Hurts give all these quotes and shit. That shit don't mean that. That ain't no quote. That's facts. That's talk that shit. <laughs> Real talk. <laughs> that shit don't mean nothing, man. I'm just yeah, saying, bro. Man. I hope the Texans do something, though, man, because it's been a long time since they've been good. Yeah, I know. Long time. It's been a long ass time. That's why I respect you, man, because you stayed down. No, nope. I'm calling Cap right there. You didn't? Nope. Cap. That's why I asked that's why I asked the original question of who everybody team and he know exactly what he what I'm talking about too. Give me he some facts. He ain't stayed down with Give no text. Uh, I got the DMs. <laughs> <laughs> I got uh, the DMs. Oh, <laughs> his his team used to be the Cardinals. Like two years ago, <laughs> this team was the Cardinals. Now Kyle Murray got sorry for some reason. And you know who else on that team? Hollywood Brown. Oh, now he, as soon as they got CJ, H-Town, that's all he posted. H-Town, 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 H-Town. But two years ago, you was with Arizona. You never forget where you from. Nah. (laughs) You switched up, though. When things got rough, you switched up. I mean, yeah, you know, sometimes you got them, you know, the women in your life that you know. What are you talking about? I'm just saying, you know. (laughs) I'm just saying. Sometimes you got the women in life that make you forget where you came from. I respect it, man. you always go back home because you know where the bread and butter at. Mm Mm-hmm. No, mm-hmm. but I you, respect it because my uncle was the same way, bro. No, I like T Mac with Yao Ming was with the Rockets. Quote was hard though, huh? No. <laughs> <laughs> I respect it. My uncle was the same way though because when T Mac and Yao Ming was with the Rockets, he was a Rockets fan. When they left, though, it was a straight Lakers. Then you gonna get on your ass when you see this. Like I'm back in Houston. You are gonna get on your ass when you see this. He know what it is. <laughs> <laughs> he know he, he know I ain't lying. Nah, Eric got a yeah. line for that James Harden shit. I ain't gonna You feel? Shout out Eric though, but. Yeah, <laughs> he go wherever James, James Harden, Harden go. Ain't it. <laughs> he go wherever Harden go, and I respect it because I mean it's a lot of LeBron people like that. You know what I'm saying? They, they my mama, Cleveland, Miami, mm-hmm. back to Cleveland. Now they Lakers fans. You know what I'm saying? That's just how it go. Yeah. This is how it go, man. I used to be a KD fan. I don't even rock with him no more. You sure don't? Yeah. Like Tatum though. I like Jason Tatum. Yeah. I like the cold. I respect him, man. Tatum cold. Yeah, he cold. I mean, I th- I thought it was gonna be the, you know the new face of the NBA, but me too. I don't see it no more. Nah, no, I actually, I actually agree. I, I kind of don't either. I, I kind of see like Anthony Edwards, low key. I like mm, Anthony I Edwards too. Mm-hmm. Okay, okay. But he only twenty two. I ain't even know that. Yeah, he young, young book. Yeah, I ain't know he was twenty two. I thought he was like twenty five. So it's something. The next it? face though, I think I like Ant yeah. too. I like Ant Edwards too, yeah. man. But the next face, yeah, I, I just don't see Jason Tatum like that. Maybe um, like. I, I, I don't even know Luca. I don't know. Yeah, don't that's know. why I was. Thinking, that's why I was like thinking about. But have you ever seen like them make a face that was like European? Not a, yeah, not American. Yeah, like, I don't know. If that's, that's where shit get a little messed up at because they ain't never had to do it. I don't, like I don't this. think that's ever happened. You know yeah. I mean? Nah. 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 Okay, hold on. Wait, wait. So since we on the topic of NBA, let's talk about like niggas getting statues. You know yeah. what I'm saying? We we like we had a conversation earlier about. Who deserves a statue in Denver? Melo. Or who deserves one first? Melo or Jokic? How you, what's, what's your take on it? So, my take on it, man, as far as statues go, I agree with y'all. I think Joker deserves a statue in Denver before Melo. My thing was, he should have never got number 15. Mm. I don't, I just don't. I just don't like how people be like, I ain't even gonna say people, that organization, they try to like over, like overlook what Melo did there, bro. Like people forget, bro, for a long time in the league, it was Braun, Kobe, Melo, Wade. That's it. 
Like I'm not saying that's it, but like them was the top dogs. Yeah. They just tried to diminish that when they gave away Melo number. I just don't think they should have gave away 15. That number should be in the damn rafters, bro. Yeah. Well, what do you do for the organization? That's the thing. Be- I can't say exactly what he did for the organization. I can only speak about what he did for himself. <laughs> that's, 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 that's the disconnect. That's the disconnect. Yeah. I feel you. I, uh, Realistically, I mean, I don't know the accolades. He ain't really like got no accolades like that. Just all star appearances. Yeah, bro. just all stars. All star appearances. He led the league in scoring like twice, yeah, maybe. Yeah. He ain't got no first teams. Yeah. You gotta have at least some first uh, he teams. He might he might have some first teams. He might. At the for, at like the forward position? Cause you got like LeBron, Tim Duncan, KG. Them was like the forwards I at think that he, time. He might, bro. I'm not I don't know for sure, but I would be very surprised if he didn't. I'm sure he probably got like second. I mean, he probably got some. He probably got I mean, you got, you got to think like the time he was in, well, New York don't really count in this conversation. We're talking about Denver. He might have some second teams. I don't see him getting forward over Brian, though. In the 2000s, I don't see that. No. Yeah, I don't no. see that. Not even that other forward spot because yeah, you got Tim Duncan, Tim Duncan KG, KG Dirt. Dirt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I don't, some dog. Yeah, he probably I'm, got some second teams. I'm not just trying to downplay Milo because, you know, Milo was – Cold. He was dropping cold. sixty in the garden. That's different, you know. Three gold medals with the USA team. <clears throat> yeah, that's that's different. He might know. be the best. He yeah. might be the best like Olympic player. Yeah. So yeah, one hundred percent, he's going to the Hall of Fame. Yeah. But it's just like, what did you do for them two organizations that you played for to get a statue? Man, it's tough, dog. Yeah, it's I tough. Did. It's really tough because I see a lot of niggas from other organizations that get their jersey retired that wasn't cold as mellow, bro. Who like Alex English? Him? I don't even know of who that course. is. I just know that. I got his jersey at the crib. It's crazy. <laughs> but yeah, him. Um fucking I think Ilgowska's got his number retired for Cleveland. Lord have mercy. You feel what I'm saying? That's crazy. <laughs> I ain't know that. He was probably what a two, three time all star? Yeah, I ain't know that. Hello was that dude from the time he got there. So like that's that's what I'm comparing it to. Like I see a lot of other organizations retiring players' jerseys in they was not as good as Melo. As far as statues go, though, I do believe that Joker deserves one more than Melo because, I mean, he brought a ring to that city. Exactly. He brought a ring to that city. He made them relevant again, honestly. Mm-hmm. Yeah. As soon as he got that MVP, I was like, all right, y'all can all start building the foundation. It's crazy because I wasn't, like, I wasn't on board at first. I used to think, like, man, why the fuck they keep giving this nigga MVP until I actually watched. I think it was, like, the second year he got it. I watched them against uh, the Lakers playoff series. Mm-hmm. That nigga cold, bro. Cold, bro. He that like nigga slow cold, man. Dribble. Slow motion, bro. He slow not motion. athletic cold at all. Yeah, yeah, but he yeah. out the cooking That's how niggas, your bro. Too. Luca, yeah. Luca not quick, but he but get man, to them spots. He built different though. He is Luca nice. He built different. Yeah, you know them two yeah. European niggas, they they on some shit over there. I'll be hearing some shots. I'll be like, God damn, like she make you scratch your head a little bit sometimes. <laughs> like man, he cooking, bro. You know. Be cooking, and it's just all straight footwork too. Exactly, straight like, footwork. Like, it's not no quick first step. Mm-mm. It's not no blow bys, no crazy cross. Well, he crossed some niggas, yeah. But like, <laughs> it's just footwork, man. Like Paul Pierce on some shit. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. niggas not athletic at all. It's crazy. I don't even. I don't think I ever seen Joker dunk. Nah, I don't think you can. I've seen him. Like it'd be weak dunks though. It'd be like basically layups. I know in that goddamn All Star game, that was a damn shame because none of them was dunking. Mm-hmm. You know, they was just pulling from half court. That's it. You know? <laughs> that's why the dunk contest so ass no. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I just want to see the three point contest. Oh, that shit need damn near go away. I ain't gonna say go away, but my favorite thing to watch at the All Star thing is the three point contest. Nah, it's been bro. like that for for me personally. It's been like that for like it a couple used to years. All Star game. People I used, used to, to play enjoy, defense. On I used to show. enjoy watching All Star game. Man. That. I, used I used to enjoy look watching that shit. Used to look forward to seeing the jerseys. Exactly. Seeing what how, what how the design looked this year and shit. Now you yeah, got these niggas the up same, here scoring man. 200 points a game. <clears throat> yeah, you know, that's, goddamn that's well, that's too many goddamn points. <laughs> okay, I got a that's question crazy. for y'all then. So, with the All-Star game being as um, underwhelming as it is nowadays, y'all think, okay, I'm going to ask this a different way. If they added the one-on-one, who y'all think coming out on top of that? Man. If they add the one-on-one. Like, one-on-ones. Yeah. Got to put Luke in there. <clears throat> I'm, trying to, I'm trying to give out my top three. I think Luca might be cooked, though. Yeah. But I'm going to let you go ahead, though. Luca, mm-hmm. one-on-one. Mm-hmm. Kyrie. Mm-hmm. Uh, 
I'm trying to think. I think I got a shocker. Luca, Kyrie, KD. Okay, okay. Well, what you got? Three. I kind of look at it from you got to play both sides of the ball. Yeah. So I'm looking like Paul George. I'm about to, I'm about to, I'm about to say this. His, that his too. bag is crazy, I'm first about to of say all. That too. And he played defense. Uh, Jason Tatum, he played a little good defense. Uh, and then, of course, you know, you got to throw like Kyrie and KD in there because they two offensive juggernauts. Mm-hmm. Unguardable. But. My number one probably would be Paul George just because mm-hmm. he got a nice bag. That's who my number one is, bro, Paul George. <laughs> one-on-one, like, bro, he got some of the coldest handles from anybody. Yeah. And he's 6'9". Six, 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 nine. Nine, yeah. yeah, that's crazy. Like, his handle, bro, he got that bitch on the string for real. Yeah, yeah. okay. I understand. For real, bro, like, he be mixing niggas. Yeah. He's 6'9", and he could pull up, mm-hmm. and he play defense. And he could buy, like blow by you and crash on you at the rim. Yeah, he very he got, smooth. He with got it. the whole, got the whole, the whole bag. Somebody else though, I think it was could be cold in that is D book. Hell yeah, um, D, I think D book, but I think D book actually is an underrated defender too. That's what I'm talking yeah, about. People bro. don't get him credit. Yeah, I think he could. He could make NBA need to consider that, bro, because people really like. I know me. I didn't watch the All Star game. I had to watch the highlights to catch the highlights, but the highlights was even underwhelming. Yeah, I ain't even it wasn't nothing exciting that. no more. We put nothing exciting about that. I seen somebody say something about the dunk contest, you know, even though that was trash. I seen somebody make a suggestion. They was like, they should put up some money and like have some of these dunkers that be on these YouTube channels and doing all mm-hmm. those crazy stuff, have them come into the dunk contest and mm-hmm. whoever wins gets, you know, X amount of money. Second place get, you know, whatever, third. Yeah. Cause them niggas right there, yeah, they be ducking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. they do shit. I still ain't haven't seen. You gotta blame Aaron Gordon and fucking Zach Levine for that dunk and shit. Cause they took the dunk contest to the highest point. It did, to bro. Where it could be, it's hard to reach you that. Know? Yeah, that was and crazy. I don't think that'll ever come back. Yeah, nah. I just watched that recently too. <clears throat> What's crazy, crazy about it is they did dunks that haven't been done, and they was making them on the first attempt. Exactly. First attempt. That that makes a difference, bro. Like, Make yeah. it on the first attempt yeah, yeah, and yeah. do shit nobody seen before. Yeah, that was crazy. That was different. That was crazy. Like that, they, I know they talk about the events and the MJ and Dominique. That's yeah. the best dunk contest though. Yeah, it, they just Aaron it, Gordon and Michael Jordan. Aaron Gordon and, Aaron Michael, Gordon and Levine. Yeah, that's tired of that. Oh, they Michael was Jordan just shit. windmilling, bro. And double clutching. They was just windmilling, bro. I ain't got time for all that. I, I Dominique mean, did the same <laughs> every <laughs> time he, he was in the contest. Different angle. Different angle. That's it. Man, I be getting tired hard, of that man. Michael Jordan shit, bro. I be like, God damn, bro. Just because Michael Jordan don't mean it's the greatest thing ever. Like, yeah. goodness, relax. Because yeah. there's so many players that to cook Michael Jordan. <laughs> <laughs> Keep it up. It's a lot. I ain't going to lie. It's a lot. Yeah. Yeah, 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 There's a man. lot of players that to cook Michael Jordan. Sorry. Yeah. Facts, man. Don't, don't get me wrong. Sorry. We all got on Jordans. Shout out to Jordan for them sneakers. But at the same sure. time. <laughs> we all got on <laughs> Talking, talking <laughs> shit. At the same time. <laughs> You, you got your ass cooked a couple times. Like, don't yeah. lie. I mean, you know what I'm saying? Did. He he, one of the greatest, but, you know, that's another topic for another episode. Yeah, as far as that. that episode. We go <laughs> you know that. I, I, be, I be tired of hearing that shit. Yeah. But. So another thing I wanted to tap in with y'all boys is, um, <clears throat> like, I've been seeing a lot of the times nowadays the high school scene is not like how it was when we was coming up. Right. When we was coming up, you get on YouTube, you see all type of hoop mixtape ball is life, highlight tapes of these players, man, going crazy. You know what I'm saying? Y'all know who I'm talking about, the Kill Cars, the Austin Rivers, Seventh Woods, you know, them niggas. You know what I'm saying? I can name so much more. Dennis Smith got one of the craziest tapes. You know what I'm saying? Nowadays, you don't see that because I can't tell you one high school player right now. I might be able to name maybe three, but I don't really know them like that. And I know I'm grown, so I don't really pay attention to it. But like that, you those mixtapes that that helped the players that was coming up when we was coming up. Mm-hmm. It helped them a lot, getting them on the scene and shit. So my thing is like, I came, I was thinking of why it was so why it's so different now. I think it has to do with the NILs in college. Yeah, because if you think about it, the what what we know now, YouTube. The views they was getting on them damn mixtapes, millions and millions, they was getting bread for that. Yeah. Them players weren't seeing none of that. Mm-hmm. Now right. when it comes to the NILs, they like, oh, we can make money from this. So, no, you can't post my shit. Yeah. Exactly. You know what I mean? So I think that's what the big 
disconnect is from then and now is they trying to get paid. You know, because like you got a lot of high school players now getting a bag. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So how y'all feel how y'all feel about that? Like what like how y'all feel about the difference between now and then and then also what's y'all favorite mixtape from when y'all was in high school to watch? Who was y'all favorite player to watch? I say that. Man. I'm gonna say favorite mixtape. I got two. Mm-hmm. Uh Andrew Wiggins. That was crazy. Cold that was nice. Mixtape. That was definitely nice. And, and my boy John Wall. Yeah, I was like, okay, John, John. Yeah. When I saw them two, I was like, okay, they they yeah. something special. John Wall tape was crazy, crazy. Oh, Every I, play, I don't know if yes. I can think of two. I know one of mine was Marcus Levitt. Mm. Marcus Levitt was tough. Mm. <laughs> he had all the shoes too. It, it mm-hmm. was this stuff was nice. Uh, I can't think of a second one. Or the Probably mu- be like Andrew Wiggins or something. Or the music nice. on them tapes though. Yeah, <laughs> and then like the beat drop, it'd be a so crazy, it crazy. <laughs> it's crazy. It definitely was it's legendary. Crazy. Yeah, I think mine. Um, I might have to go uh, kill Car because mm-hmm. when I first saw him, I was like mine, but I was like, yo, this nigga right here is crazy because he was five six, mm-hmm. mixing tall niggas. Like you know what I'm saying? It was crazy. And then I think my second one. I wouldn't say this is the best. But Austin Rivers shit was crazy. Yeah. That was like that. Yeah, I agree with that. Austin was cooking Top niggas, five. bro. That shit was nice. I uh, nice. I like Dennis Smith's, too. His yeah. stuff was crazy. <laughs> His stuff yeah. was crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, underrated one. You, you know about this one. Corey Sanders. Corey Sanders. <laughs> Corey yeah. Sanders. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and, like, the way his shit was set up. It would be like a day in the life, so you would like kind of connect with him because mm-hmm. you get to see how he move and shit. You kind of feel like you know him damn near. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. You start calling him by his nickname, you don't even know this nigga. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> like that shit really cool, man. Um, I remember uh one that I used to watch, and I even started repping his um group, uh, Trevor Dunbar. Y'all know who that is? Mm-hmm. You know who that is? Mm-hmm. You don't know Trevor Dunbar? Uh-huh. Damn, you never heard of Shift Team? That's crazy, <laughs> shit, bro. That's crazy, man. That was one of my favorite people to watch, man, because he was like, when you got to see that type of stuff, seeing people like around your height doing what they do, it make you feel like you can do it. Trey Jefferson, another one. Yeah. Okay. You know what I'm saying? You see shorter player like me. I was um I was like five eight coming through high school. I wasn't really tall, but seeing them at the same height doing what they do, it gave me motivation. You know what I mean? I just really. I really wish they would. I know why they don't do it. Well, I'm not gonna say I know, but I feel like that's the reason why the NIL stuff. Yeah, yeah I can see that. I feel like that's I the reason why. But too. I feel like that changes your hustle mindset too. You know oh. what I'm saying? Because and the love for the game. Them youngest back in the day was trying to get it, trying to get it. You know what I'm saying? Because they love the game. Yeah, it's different for now. I need to want a bag. I ain't mad at it because the it's only high school money thing I, think I know right now is probably like what's the boy name? The white boy Cooper Flag. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. That's yeah. the only one I probably know too. The only one I can name too. I don't know nobody. He tough. I ain't gonna hold you. Yeah, he tough. Hold on, bro. I seen something. I seen something on social media that I wanted to get y'all opinion on. We ain't got that much time left, but I wanted to get y'all intake on this. So I know y'all seen the girl that was going around on social media because I guess a boyfriend or person she was talking to, whatever, sent her $30 for lunch. You know what I'm saying? She felt like that wasn't enough. She supposed to got 100 And my my thoughts is like, bitch, <laughs> you better be grateful for this thirty dollars. You could get a lot of you could get a lot of food for thirty dollars. You can go to Chili's, you can get that that three for ten. <laughs> yeah, right, had an extra twenty, go get you a daiquiri. You be all right. You be good. Be it's full. just lunch or even dinner. Be full. Like, like yeah. my, what's, what's your thoughts on that? Because like I send my girlfriend some money. <clears throat> Not all that for no damn dinner. Yeah, I, I feel you on that. I'll be getting, I'll send my girl some money too. But I mean, like, man, I ain't about to see no hundred dollars for some lunch. lunch. <laughs> nah. it, like, how, how long is your lunch break? Yeah, yeah, that's that's nothing. How long they gotta lunch? cook the food, girl? Going like, to root question and shit. <laughs> like really? what? Hundred dollars? I think it's a brainwave, bro. Like these, like this music, bro. It it mixed reality with entertainment. Yeah. Now they thinking that that shit real. With them, like, rappers be talking about, um... Every girl ain't Jada Wader, man. Every girl ain't Ari. You know what 
You know what I'm saying? Yeah, girl ain't got down. And that nigga ain't 21 that. Savage. We work. Hell, yeah. shit. All of us ain't got yeah. it goddamn like that. We got bills. Goddamn right. Y'all got chill. <laughs> got bills for yeah, real. Yeah, I'm right. That shit. Like, I be like, $30 man. for lunch ain't enough? That's crazy. And there's some girls out here, though. Like, I ain't going to say all of them. There's some girls that are very, very grateful for that. Because, yes, you know, some girls, you know, they don't even want nothing from you. Absolutely. Them the ones, me personally, I feel like them the ones that deserve it the most. Absolutely. That don't really want shit from a nigga, just, Absolutely. you know what I'm saying? They just like you. Exactly. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Some of these motherfuckers, man, they be. They be out here tripping. Oh, yeah, bro, it's wild, yeah. bro. It's wild. And that's why, like, that's why I say, like, situations like Jalen Green, like, you got to have some OGs that put you on game nowadays. You yeah. have to. Yeah. You yeah. have to, bro, because if not, you're going to get out here and drown, bro. And girls will even be tripping nowadays if you take them, like, the Chili's or, like, uh, the cheese cake. Hey, my girlfriend quick to go to Chili's. Man, you got me That fucked, pissed me dude. off so bad, what? bro. What? The, what, the cheese cake factory thing? Yeah. yeah. I ain't never been there. I was like, damn, what's wrong with that? I said, girl, I'll take your ass to Dairy cake, Queen bro. if I feel like it. Y'all crazy. Nah, my dad, Queen. I'm the dad, Queen. <laughs> That's what I like about I mean, Texas. <laughs> That's what I like about Texas. <laughs> chicken strips, they're good. Yeah, though. the I'm chicken good. strips be sneaky. Chicken strips don't yeah, be nah. smacking. I actually. <laughs> <laughs> that ain't no day spot, but I feel you, though. I the haven't had that in like forever. I used to just get their burgers. This one right by my crib. I'm saying. I'll be there all the time, but whenever I'm lazy and shit, over the shit, I'm shit. pulling up. Chicken strips and some toast. Yeah, man. Mm-hmm. Shit, that yeah. little blizzard, you all right. I'm saying. Gotta yeah, thirty dollars, thirty dollars for lunch ain't enough. That's crazy. That's crazy. That's dude, crazy, man. bro. You, like, it's it's sad, man. It's it's sad for real, bro. It's really sad because yeah. I'm sure, bro, thought he was being generous. Yeah, you you asking for lunch money, seeing you thirty. That's that's, that's enough for much. lunch and something else. Yeah, yeah with a little tea in your tank. You know, you know what I'm saying? You want to Friday? You know what I'm saying? You gonna get you a daggery? People not logical. Yeah. I don't think you know what I'm like, saying. Get you a little drink. Yeah, some people not logical like that, man. Mm, and you can tell, like they, they got the spoiled mentality. Yeah, these yeah. girls can't cook now. I make thirty dollars stretch. Shit, what? Shit, that been right? nigga, must don't know what I was doing in college. <laughs> I'm trying to tell you, what? Shit, yeah, you just, man. I don't know. That's, thirty dollars not enough. For it's that. a lot that's of crazy. things that's kind of wrong. Some people in the world. I ain't even gonna say because the girls. Because I blame the niggas at some point. Because niggas is willingly just doing it. Yeah, so if you gonna do it. I mean, shit. They you know, you might well take it. If you got it. Yeah, if you got it, you can do it. But right. goddamn, I ain't got it. <laughs> if you got it. I don't I like that it. shit, man. Yeah, I ain't got it, goddamn. Yeah, I don't shit. like that shit, man. Not no hundred dollars for no goddamn lunch. I don't like that shit, man. Mm. I remember, uh, this is, you know, before I was in a relationship, I was talking to this girl, and she was like, uh, this is like first conversations, bro, like first, like, couple of texts or whatever. Uh, <laughs> I asked, I was like, you know, what you doing? What you got going on? She's like, oh, nothing. Just trying to figure out how I'm going to pay this rent. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> that was last time I talked to her. I was like, oh, no. We're going to go in that right then and there. I don't like it, man. I don't like that shit, bro. I don't like that I don't shit. Like it at all. Because I remember it was a video of Sweetie. Like, it was, she was on like an interview, kind of like a podcast type of deal. And like, they asked her for relationship advice. First thing, I, I kid you not, the first thing she said was like, women don't be scared to ask your man for no money. I'm like, that's the first thing that came to your mind? If it's your man. That's the uh, first thing that you're going to give advice for, though? Well, no, nah, I mean, that's not the first thing you should give advice for. No. But, uh, and then when she said it, it was a bunch of period, 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 period in the background. And that's what pissed me off, period. And like, I don't want to seem like we just bashing, you know, women. Nah. Because all women ain't like this. It's the women that are like that. Yeah. That's who we talking to because like, that mindset got to change, bro. Because like a lot of these, a lot of these women got daughters. You don't want to teach them that type of shit, bro. Personally, man, that shit really. They don't care nine days. Hell, I feel like I mean it's one thing to ask for it or like want that, but if you're not willing to give the same type of energy, like relax. You know what I'm saying? It ain't, it ain't, yeah, because it ain't it, a man. It don't take much to just please a man. If you ain't, because a lot of people, a lot of the ones that really be on that, like to the full extent, I don't know if they can cook. They out here fucking Alfredo and niggas to death. <laughs> what I'm trying to say, bro, I don't even like pasta like that. Yeah, I, was, I, I just eat shit. it, so you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I like some Alfredo. I ain't gonna lie. I want this shit every day. Every goddamn day. 
God damn, make some pork chops or some oh, shit. Some, fry something. <laughs> you know, that ain't hard. You oh, just fry yeah. some shit, but. Yeah. Cook some breakfast or something, girl. Hell, do something. Like Trey said, man, we ain't talking to all the females. Yeah, no, man, because it's some. Certain percentage. It's just certain yeah. females. No, I blame you niggas. What my, I don't know what my camera is for real, but I'm going to blame you niggas, man. Facts. For y'all niggas out here doing, <laughs> doing some Facts, of this crazy bro. shit. Yeah, Especially like tricky. Man. Some niggas that don't got it. If you got it, you know, whatever. Subscribe they ain't getting nothing out of it. Shit. Stop tricking. Subscribing to OnlyFans. Subscribing to fucking OnlyFans. Hey, man. Fuck. Hey, man. <laughs> that shit crazy. You know that same type of shit free? That's a lot of shit. Uh, yeah, I do. Yeah. Hey, come on, my nigga. Bad, uh, man. That's, that's like, man, they made, it, uh, they made it possible for women to think like that. Yeah, I know. They made it possible. These gullible ass niggas. So I can't even fucking blame a woman for real. And I don't even, like, bro, these OGs in the game, y'all got to start talking to the young bulls, man. Don't worry about it. We'll do it on the podcast. Absolutely. Young <laughs> bulls, tap in, bro. We got you, man. You Please. ever need some, any type of <laughs> advice, <laughs> any type of, you know, you stuck and you need some advice on something, bro, don't hesitate, man. Plus, we going to mention it on here, bro. Like Ann said, we got a lot of great stuff coming on this podcast. This ain't, like, you know what I'm saying? This ain't just going to be a podcast where we're just talking about one subject, you know? And then we also, like, we're going to be taking questions, you know, anything, bro. Yeah, once we get a little following, in, hopefully, you know what I'm saying, y'all tap in. Hopefully, y'all like the content. Already. Uh, eventually, we will try to branch out and do other things. But, you know what I'm saying, right now, this first episode is kind of a little smaller than, shorter than what we expected. Mm-hmm. But going forward, we'll have more more time, like probably like an hour and a half, maybe an hour 50, something like that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? This is the first episode, so, you know. Just getting y'all warmed up. You know yeah. what I'm saying? We got the all in one right here. All in and one. And Jay and Trey, you know. All in one, man. But we're gonna we're gonna try to give a little game. Yeah, man. We're gonna give game. We're gonna done, talk about the hot topics. Things. You know, some things. All of that, man. Yeah, we're gonna man. review some music. You know what I'm saying? Uh we're gonna we're gonna do a lot of stuff, man. We got a lot of stuff in store, bro. We've been like I said, we've been talking about this for the longest. So I'm glad yeah. we got it in motion now, man. Yeah, it's our yeah. first time shooting. It look crazy seeing us. I said, yeah, yeah, I was like, it's a cool, it's a cool, it's scene cool, too. bro. That's why I've been moving around trying to it's figure out cool. how I need to sit. Word, yeah, yeah. Word. Word. I need to touch the mic for real. Word, no, that's man. a cool set, man. Bro. We got a lot man. of great, a lot of great things coming, man. Yeah, yeah. But you know, all in one, all in one, man. Music, yeah, sports, all of it, everything, <laughs> all of it. You feel me? All of it, man. But yeah. Glad to appreciate y'all tuning in to the first episode, bro. This first is like mini. Long, first of many. Long time coming. Appreciate y'all tuning in. And we're gonna be we're gonna be right back, man. We're gonna be right back. We're gonna be consistent with it. Like you said, at least two drops a month. Uh hopefully more. Yeah, but um yeah. at, that's gonna be the bare minimum, at least two. You know, we're gonna make sure we get that content out for y'all. Y'all at work. You know, put that ear, put your earphones in. Yeah, yeah. Listen to us, spit that game a little bit, you know what I mean? Tap in, my boy. I'm gonna get on my get on my YouTube thing, man. Make make sure y'all like, <laughs> comment, <laughs> and subscribe, man. Word, word, I'm man. gonna try to figure out how we gonna drop it on uh Apple Music or Apple Podcasts and Spotify too. Mm-hmm. So you know what I'm saying, just in case if you don't want to listen to it on YouTube, mm-hmm. you can listen to it on Spotify and stuff like that. Cause me, you know, I drive trucks, so I be listening to podcasts all the time. Yeah. So I know maybe other people in this world they be doing the same thing, but. We got a lot of great things coming, man. Jay, what you got to say, bro? Hey, man, you already know what it is. <laughs> hey, I'm just thankful that we got this together, you know what I'm saying? Absolutely. First time, but you know, it's the first for many. Yes, sir. Know? And I'm glad we all got a good connection. You know, we always been boys. You yes, know, sir. getting this shit together. Shout so out to I just want y'all to tune in and see what we got in store for y'all. Word. You know, that's the most part to me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we got everything. And I'm going to be the funny one just to let y'all boys know because I got it. He going to say the dumbass topic, <laughs> dumbass takes because I know y'all heard that shit about the damn ain't no worry about no Patrick yeah, Mahomes. Like, that, he, he already losing his mind. Hey, Texas, this, tap in. Y'all feel me? Man, shout out crazy. Cold Spring, Texas, man. Shout out Cold Spring. Old Cold City. <laughs> <laughs> shout out no Cold Spring. Put point blank on the map. You know Fuck how we be. They, they respect it. They Population of 600. Y'all ain't got no school. Y'all come to Cold Spring <laughs> to go to school. We got two grocery stores, though. <laughs> Family dollar. <laughs> side by side. Hey, all Cold Spring got his four gas stations. Hey, one grocery store. Hey. Brookshire Brothers. Man, it's all in one, man. We signing out, bro. Yeah, Appreciate yeah. y'all tuning in. I love and you, we'll boy. see y'all next time, man. We will be back. Yes, sir.